hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is candace and tonight i'm here with another haul this is my rose girls pre-order okay i ended up getting my pre-order and my ready to ship in the same day almost at the same time which was kind of weird but you know it is what it is my pre-order took a little longer to get to me which was fine. I know that a lot of people were complaining or asking questions on Rose Girls group page about their orders. Mine was sitting for like a week straight, but I knew eventually it was going to come. While it was sitting, she did have her ready to ship, her Mario ready to ship with extras. And I went in on that one too. But I'm not going to do both of these videos at the same time because I don't really like super long videos. So this one is just going to be my pre-order. And when I get a chance, I will film my ready to ship. So we have a snap, share, and tag. XOXO Jenny. Jenny Oates is the owner. So let's just start with the sample. I got like, I think like six mini melter bags, eight or nine of the snowflakes pretty decent size order considering i don't really need any more wax but winter mermaid peppermint shaving cream and coconut cream so not a big coconut fan let's see mm, okay i like this one i like this one I don't get coconut. I get peppermint in the shaving cream. So I think this is like a good fresh, almost like a clean peppermint scent. Really pretty. So thank you for that sample. Let's just grab and go. One of these I did melt something out of and I'm going to show you. And the one that I melted two nights ago is Silent Night Mode, which is Sweet Lavender Vanilla Balsam. Roasted pine cones and a blanket of fresh fallen snow. So I did like, I think like four cubes out of this one. And it was so pretty. It was pretty. It's a really pretty lavender. Like, um, definitely not bakery. No bakery in this at all. So if you're a bakery lover, mm, you know. But you do get the lavender, and I did get the pine cones while it was warming. And like a fresh note. And I guess that's coming from the fresh falling snow. But this is a beautiful one. This is a beautiful one. Next one is a repurchase from last year. And it's Walugi's Winter Carnival. This one is Cotton Candy, Vanilla Bean Noel, Cupcakes at Tiffany, and Candy Cane. I know both of these are like customer creations. This one was a customer winner. And this one from last year was. This one is so good. I love this one. Mm, yes. I love the candy cane of this one. Summer Rose Girls candy cane or peppermint, I cannot do. It's too strong. Her peppermint will blow you out of here. Like, But this, the candy cane and the cupcakes at Tiffany's so good so refreshing and sweet and you do get a hint of that cotton candy i really like this one happy to have more mario's home for the holidays y'all i fell in love with this blend i think emily from um m's crafty corner or something like that she created this one what well, came up with the the blend notes and it's christmas wish oh christmas tree toasted marshmallow royal sugar cookie and and vanilla bean noel pretty festive colors also put on the back the month i got it in the year y'all i ended up ordering another bag of this one in the ready ship it's a favorite it's a favorite it's just well-rounded it's a well-rounded christmas tree scent it's a hint of bakery from the sugar cookie Toasted marshmallow, just give it like a creaminess. You do get that Christmas wish. I love Jenny's Christmas wish. This is really beautiful. So I'm happy to have more of Mario home for the holidays. I think I'm going to melt some of this this week. You know, Christmas is next week. But I'm melting some of this because I do have an extra bag of it. Next we have Bippity Boppity 
Birdo. And this is Jay Afford's blend. It's Jelly Donut, Nilla, Stra Nilla Strawberry Noel, Raspberry Sauce, and Waffle Cone. This one is pretty, too. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. Oh, my God. The Jelly Donuts, Strawberry, Raspberry, Waffle Cone. It's just a really nice, berry, fruity, yummy, like mouth-watering jelly donut scent. I really like this one. I cannot wait to warm this one. And I'm kind of upset I only got one bag, but you know, it is what it is. Then we have Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, which is eggnog, raw sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. A fave, a fave, a fave. I love this scent. I decided to get two bags of Mario Home for the holidays because I, I had to pick and choose. I, I couldn't do both. But this is just so good. You have to warm this one. To me, on cold, to be honest, it's not like, oh my God. When I get on cold, it's like eggnog and like a cookie vibe. But on warm, this is beautiful. And it is a powerhouse. It is so strong. I remember warm this last year and my mouth dropped i i just could not believe how strong this scent was oh my goodness i love christmas eve and cookie land and y'all and her ready to ship like for two three days i think this was on there like it had not um sold out yet and i could not believe it okay okay we got one more mini melter bag and this is frosty glacier christmas camp out not sure if this is a customer creation or not, but it's peppermint, campfire cookies, marshmallow fireside, Palo Santo, and a henna pine. So I feel like in her Mario pre order this year, she did a lot of pine, peppermint, Palo type of scents, and I'm here for it. I like those types of scents. Y'all, this is so good. You definitely get that cookie notes i don't know what campfire cookie is but i'm smelling like a peppermint cookie a hint of pine a little wood note in there it's just really really nice oh my goodness this is really good so the rest are the stars and i've seen a lot of videos and everybody have been talking about how beautiful these stars are and let me tell you they really are so the first one is Blizzard on the Star Express, Candy Cane, Eggnog, Ice Cream, Marshmallow, Caramel Cheesecake, and Frosty Sugar Cookie. So this one was offered last year, but I never tried it. Let me show you guys. Look at that. I definitely get the um, caramel in here. I get like a caramel candy cane type of vibe. Mm, this is really, really good. Mm, yeah, candy cane, caramel, that eggnog, and a creaminess from the ice cream. This is really, really good. Well done. I'm happy I picked up um, a star in that one. Next, I have Jumping on Three Clouds, which is birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany, yellow cake, vanilla crunch donuts, marshmallow monster cookie, Cup of cake and cotton candy. A lot, a lot of scent notes. But very pretty. Yeah, this smells really good. Kathy from Scoopable Wax Melts, which is Jenny Oates' mother, has this very popular blend. Three cakes is, I think that's what it's called. And I do smell mostly cupcakes at Tiffany's and like a marshmallow cake vibe. I'm not getting all of these notes, definitely not cotton candy and stuff, but I get like cupcakes at Tiffany's and a sweet cakey vibe. So this one is really nice. 
Next, we have Go Telling on DK's Mountain, which is Pine, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I think last year I was kind of scared of Sweater Weather. This year, I'm not so pretty. I love that green. I definitely get that. The Sweater Weather first, and then the Pine. It's fresh. But I think that Vanilla Bean Noel just kind of rounds everything out. Like, I'm not a, a in love with that scent from Bath & Body Works. But I've heard a lot of people talk about this scent. And I did want to try it in wax form because I've never actually tried the candle. I don't really care for how this Sweater Weather candle smells from Bath & Body Works. So. Next, we have the Somebody Say Christmas Cookies. Gingerbread, royal sugar cookies, monster cookies, sugar cookie dough, and bourbon eggnog frosting. Oh, this one is two-toned. Let me see, I'll show you. Oh, I smell it already. Oh, this is so good. Mmm, this is yummy, y'all. Gingerbread cookies and that bourbon eggnog. This is like mouth-watering. Like, I want to eat this. Oh, my God. It's so good. So, that one I'm most excited for, too. I don't I don't know if I'm going to hold these for next year. All of them. Or try to melt a few this year. Next is Banshee Boardwalk, which is s'mores, salty sea air, marshmallow, sea salt. And it says beach nights type. I had to try this one out. Because I've been waiting for rose girls to do a beach nights i've been waiting this one is gorgeous and you know what i think okay so s'more salty sea air marshmallow and sea salt so this is basically beach nights it's okay it's okay it's it's not a favorite yeah i get a hint of the saltiness And the marshmallow. Yeah, I gotta warm this one. It smells good, but it's not like a favorite beach nights for me. Yeah, it smells like a salty Sierra marshmallow type of vibe. I'm not getting the s'mores. No. But that is Banshee Boardwalk. Y'all. I didn't even realize I already had this scent. This is Autumn Mountain, which is Cider Lane, Dump My Donuts, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And to show you, I have it. I have it from her mother, Scoopable Wax, in a minute loaf. So, good thing I like this scent. <laughs> it's so good, though. I love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Oh, that cider lane is good. It's strong. And I definitely get that donut vibe. Yeah. Unless you're not like a seasonal melter. But I feel like this is a great fall set. Cider lane and PPW you cannot go wrong with. And we got three more. So this one is Holiday Hangover at the Castle. Eggnog, apple fritter, royal sugar cookie, and whipped cream. Oh, I love this one. It's my favorite star. Look how pretty that is. So good. I love Rose Girl's apple fritter. The apple fritter donut holes is so good. I have that in like a two-pack shape. And I wanted to try this one in a smaller size because it has the eggnog in it. And it's just a more creamy, it amps up the bakery from the apple fritter and sugar cookie. This is a really good one. Whoever created this one, good job. I really, really like this one. Next is the one I was most excited for. It's Lake Kingdom, which is salty sea air, blackberry, peppermint, and rain. I love all four of those notes. Y'all know I love blackberry and peppermint. I enjoy salty sea air and I love rain. Now look at this snowflake. How pretty is this? 
This is so good. I should have been got this one. You get all four notes. When I first smell it, I get that peppermint, but I also get that salt to see air. And then you can smell the blackberry and that fresh rain aquatic note. It's sweet, minty, and fruity. Oh, it is so good. Woo! Late Kingdom. Yeah, that is a good one. And my last one is Shiver Mountain. Sweater Weather, Sweet Cranberry, Soft Pine, Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So I decided to get a snowflake. I was going to get uh, a mini melter in this. But y'all, I have I created a blend with VCS. It was cranberry chutney, pine, sugar cookie, and something else. Oh, and sweater weather. Yeah. Yeah, sweater weather, pine, cranberry chutney, and sugar cookies. That's what it was. So I decided to just get a snowflake since I have two more souffles of that scent that's very similar to this. And yeah, that's exactly what this smells like. The scent that I did with VCS like last year. Mm, yeah, it was called Jingle Bells. Yeah, this smells just like it. I'm finna grab it to see how different this one is from the blend that I created. Okay, I'm back. So, I created this blend last year with VCS through the wet shake page so this one is called jingle all the way swell the weather sweet pine cranberry chutney and baked sugar cookies this one okay they're different this one doesn't have peppermint this one is more sweeter this one you get that baked sugar cookies and that cranberry chutney I think cranberry chutney is a good one to use. People that don't put it in a lot of blends. But yeah, I just had to, you know, compare them because this is very similar. This one is more fresh, though. That peppermint gives it a freshness, almost like a coolness. Oh, yeah. It's pretty, though. I really like Shiver Mountain. Well done. So, you guys, that is it. That is all. This is my pre-order. I do have a big box with my ready to ship. I will do those separate. Did you all order from Rose Girls? Pre-order of ready to ship. I know she's having another pre-order. I think coming up. I just seen something about scent requests. I'm not going in on it. I'm not going in on it. I got so much Rose Girls, y'all. It is not even funny. And I need to start melting my wax. Um, so, yeah. I probably will order in the ready to ship next year, probably in February or something, or the end of January. But for now, I'm good for with Rose Girls. So yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. I will talk to you on the next video. Take care. Bye.